everyone. I wasn't going to film anymore today, but we just got in the mail our Peach Goods toilet paper. And I have no affiliation with this brand. Uh, I only purchased it because the various orders I placed around this time for the coronavirus kind of toilet paper crisis, everything was canceled. So we were on like five rolls left and my fiance goes through them pretty quickly uh, as do I of course because sometimes we'll use it as Kleenex and everything so I just wanted to give my first impressions and I'm gonna film a little bit later too and add on to this video after using it and kind of how long a roll has lasted us because typically we will use one roll up per day between the two of us Sometimes more, uh, sometimes if we use like seventh generation toilet paper, that can just get used up like within half the day. So we'll use two rolls. So I just wanna see how long this will last us, if it's worth it. My initial impressions are that it's kind of hard to peel off and get it started. You can see it's like breaking a little bit. Um, I will say the paper is kind of a nice, interesting quality. You can tell it's definitely higher end than, you know, something like Scott brand. It's definitely much thicker. And it has like peaches imprinted all over it, which if anyone knows like the world of embossing or screen printing or any, any sort of printing at all, you kind of know that it's very expensive to do, so I mean it does kind of annoying just to get it started, but I'm just gonna break it off here. Okay, so we kind of have it started. Um, I'm gonna put it in the bathroom, take out the other one tomorrow and just see how long it takes us to use the one roll. Definitely a lot thicker than like Scott, for example, or even Presto. It does not smell like peaches. Just want that to be clear because don't we all want it to actually smell like peaches? Um, but yeah, definitely that's a lot of printing. And to be honest, I mean, if anyone ever watches this from the company, I don't think we really need the whole roll printed. Like maybe you could save a little bit of money and amp up the rolls, fix the little initial start problem and like do peaches like, I mean, I don't wanna give you million dollar ideas, but you could literally just start the roll like fancy and then print a beautiful peach sticker or something. I mean, I don't think we, you really need to print on every single sheet. I don't really care that much. I don't think consumers do. So, all right, I'll film tomorrow and we can see how long this roll lasts us. I'm just gonna throw this in because this is the other toilet paper company we also ordered from uh, due to the shortage and we have, we're under self quarantine. Obviously everybody is, but I needed something to come to the door. So this toilet paper is called number two. It's distributed by a company I believe in Santa Monica. This has been featured in a lot of eco-friendly websites, yada, yada, yada. It's made of bamboo. So same thing, the rolls are about the same size. Peach might be a hair bigger. Um, this has kind of like, not a perforated, but it has kind of like a little micro dot pattern all over it. So. That could be interesting and maybe kind of exfoliating. Maybe we'll need less when we use this roll. I'm just gonna compare the two just because they're kind of new companies out there. And if you're stuck without any toilet paper, which we kind of almost were, maybe these companies could help you and you know be a resource. Definitely the price is a lot more than a normal toilet paper company because they have to ship the product. It's packaged really beautifully. These we ordered, they came eight for about $20. So a little over $2 a roll and that was shipped. Uh, I'm also grateful this company shipped really quickly, faster than Peach did. 
Um, I don't know why. And then peach, we ordered 24 rolls for $44, so about $2 a roll. So they're both kind of in the luxury toilet paper game. Um, and I know typically, I don't know, if you shop at the dollar store, you can get four rolls for a dollar, which is 25 cents each. Um, if you, like, even at Costco, it's, what, 48 rolls for 20 bucks, 15 to 20 bucks. So you see what I'm saying. This, you're pay, basically paying quadruple the price, like, of retail for toilet paper. But I'm glad these companies exist because they fill a void in the market right now. And that void will probably be fixed very, very soon. But in the meantime, it's nice to be introduced to companies that are kind of focused on just having toilet paper delivered to you and the luxury millennial kind of yada, yada, yada. I don't think this is like if you are a real estate agent, if you are trying to sell a million dollar home, if, you know, I I don't really see the purpose of this. Is you, if you run a luxury business, a luxury spa, or, you know, you run a luxury peach tasting wine room, I don't know. These are great for more of a luxury type of environment. I don't really see these, like, worth the cost, especially if, you know... They're not really making you money, you know, and they're just being flushed. So just want to point that out. I'm going to recommend these companies to a friend who sells real estate in Los Angeles. Her name is Athene and she is so beautiful and she is so green. And I think she would love just from the looks of these toilet papers. I think she would just vibe with number two because she's based in Santa Monica and this company's based in Santa Monica and it's kind of green, bamboo, hippie kind of thing. So going to recommend that to her. And if you guys are interested in these companies, I'll link them down below. And wa keep watching and I will post my reviews and see how long these rolls last us. Hi guys, so I just wanted to come back and talk about our experience using the two different toilet papers. Um, I actually stopped filming this video a while ago even it's been like a week <laughs> uh I kind of forgot about it because I normally don't talk about toilet paper all the time but <laughs> let me tell you what we think so peach goods we love this my fiance loves this toilet paper he thinks it's so soft it's so plush it's like a little buttery towel for your parts and this lasted like half a day longer than the bamboo number two brand so we definitely love this toilet paper i you know we signed up for the subscription i'm not sure if we will cancel it or not i mean we have a lot of toilet paper now so we'll see so just to like tell you guys we love this i highly recommend it i think it's so luxurious it lasts you know a day and a half so it's pretty great and as far as like sustainable I, I'm not sure if this is a sustainable brand but I think it's I think it's made in Georgia so definitely like if you want to support an American made brand this is the one number two well I think, still think the wrapping is so pretty and like the paper and just the overall idea and the quality is like so nice the inner cardboard was for whatever reason I didn't notice it the first time but when I was taking it off the roll it's really hard it's like very hard so if you ever reuse those maybe that's like something to know if you use them for craft projects or whatever we won't repurchase this one it's kind of like it lasted about a day about the same like length of time as seventh generation and I just felt like it's a beautiful wrapper, but we don't really need a fancy wrapper at this point. So, you know, maybe if we have guests, we'll just save those few, like, last rolls that we have of this, like, to, as display or whatever in the bathroom. But we don't really need it. So I won't buy it again. I don't think it's that 
you know, important. And honestly, I could reuse the paper and just wrap a few other rolls with this. Just saying, just throwing it out there. You can reuse the paper if you really like the idea of wrapping your toilet paper. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. Comment down below if you've tried either of these two brands and what you think. Let people know. I feel like everyone's kind of out there looking at these brands right now because we have experienced a toilet paper shortage and we kind of don't ever want to go to a store and see that again so you know there's alternatives out there and these are two brands and definitely recommend the peach between the two so yeah thanks guys have a good day